So, this video is basically about eclipses, because in only two days, once this video is put out, I'm pretty sure, I don't know when this video is going to get put out, for depending on how long it takes for it to get made, but an eclipse is happening, well, a solar eclipse is happening. So I made this video to talk about what solar eclipses are and how they're caused. First thing is, of course, how they're caused. Solar eclipses are caused when the moon, sun, and earth are practically in line, so it looks like the moon is blocking the sun, which is why it just looks like a completely black dot with a with a reddish outline because it's the moon blocking the sun meaning only the very edges of the sun's light can get through and that causes an eclipse but there are different kinds of eclipses the four kinds of eclipses are a total ecl eclipse it's basically where uh, the sun is almost fully blocked out by the moon then there's an annual eclipse, which happens every two years. A hybrid eclipse, which basically, depending on where you are when looking at it, changes whether it looks like an annual or total eclipse. A partial eclipse occurs when the Earth and Moon and Sun aren't perfectly aligned, so it, it looks almost not fully made. So eclipses are interesting. There's a lot of history surrounding them in different um, ancient races of people wondering what they were. But this video is mostly just to talk about briefly what the different kinds of eclipses are. The eclipse that is happening on April 8th of this year is going to basically be a total eclipse and is going to happen at some of these times. I'll put them up on screen. And this also, here's a map of where it's visible. But yeah, the, the thing is, there is a reason for this video being short. Same with the very last video, and this is where I'm going to get into it. If you're not interested in anything else, like if you just wanted, if you just clicked on this video to just see eclipses, then perfect time to click off would be now, but I hope you stay here, especially if you're subscribed to my channel or you're watching my videos, because I'm going to be making some changes to the way I um, post my videos, because I found that... I've been making I've been making really unfulfilling and kind of just bad in general science videos because I don't talk about too much because I find it takes because I make my videos in one week so I've decided on a way that makes it better I'm put out one very long video once a month that is science based and it would be like 45 minutes to an hour and it would be very science based very very full but throughout that week I because I also do sometimes video game videos I will put out video game videos which don't take much effort throughout the throughout the month so then go so then there's all the low effort things that that are still enjoyable to watch but I don't need to work as much and basically that would make it easier for all my videos to get made and then also would make it so there's more enjoyable of both kinds of videos but yeah I want to hear your feedback on that but yeah thanks for watching and goodbye